All right, here we are with another update on the uh, step van or ice cream truck project here. Uh, if you recall the last video, I was working on replacing the front spindles with some uh, lowering spindles. I've got that all done now. It's all back together. Uh, here's the old spindles, original spindles that came off of uh, the vehicle. Uh, the replacement ones went on uh, with no big issues. Uh, they, were, they were sold as a three inch drop. I got about two and a half, just measuring with a tape measure before and after. Uh, so that's pretty close. Uh, once you get all the weight in the car, probably be, probably be pretty close to right on a three inch drop. Uh, like I said, no real issues. Everything came off and everything went back on. Uh, the calipers were frozen, uh, so I did leave the brake pads and the dust shield off when I put it back together because I'm going to have to go in there again and uh, either install new calipers or get the ones rebuilt or something. Uh, but anyway, the front's all done. You can see here it's back on the ground. Uh, I've got started on the back. I'm about a little, I'm over halfway through there. Kind of talk you through what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm flipping the axle. Uh, the rear axle was uh, sitting below the uh, leaf springs and I'm going to move it to be above the leaf springs. So I bought this kit here online. Uh, it's about 20 bucks for the kit. Basically, uh, this will sit on top of the leaf spring and then the axle will sit in here and then you'll have a plate that will sit on top and then your U-bolts here will, will connect all those together and hold it together. So that's kind of how it's going to work. Let me walk you back here. I uh, kind of step over my trailer to get back here, but let me show you what we got going here in the back right now. So, uh, so here's the axle. Um, as I was working on this side, I went ahead and pulled the drum off just to get a look in there at the brakes and everything, which are pretty worn but uh but they're all there's still pad left on them but you can see the axle here and this has got a truck 12 bolt axle in it um so i had to get the uh the old uh axle bolts and stuff out here you can see the here's the u-bolts and the and the nuts and here's the plate and again this was all bolted up to the bottom of the leaf spring right there and i've now got that undone i had to get the shocks loose and then by getting the front leaf spring bolts out off of the frame up in here where they attach right up in here uh, by getting them off I was able to drop the springs down then I could slide the rear end housing forward and get the leaf spring wiggled underneath the uh, rear end housing so now you can see the springs are underneath you can see the pads there on that on the housing which originally was where it bolted to it from when it was sitting below the spring now it's going to be uh, have those parts I showed you sitting uh, between the uh, leaf spring and the housing and that will uh, get that centered up on the uh, on the bolt that goes through the center of the spring uh, to locate it and then uh, the new u bolts will attach that back down and get it all together so in order to get things loose enough to slide i did have to take the the brake line uh, loose from the uh, cover you can see there's one bolt there on the cover that's loose uh, that's where the brake line uh, flex line attached to the rear end I just had to pull that loose and then get the lines pulled out a little bit so I could slide the housing forward again and enough to be able to get the leaf springs underneath it. And uh, so I was able to do that working around the parking brake lines and everything else without having to take anything else off. So the only other part that was a little bit of a challenge was getting the shocks off and, and then the one on the, on the passenger side over there, the shocks in front of the housing. And so in order to slide the housing up, I had to compress the shock and then get the rear end under it. And then when I had to, when I got the leaf spring underneath, and I had to compress the shock again and get the housing back on the back side of it, but I was able to get that done without too much problem. So anyway, uh, this is ready to go back together now. I'll get the uh, new parts I bought, and I'll get this reassembled, and then I'll give you another update. Thanks.